Hello everyone, it's day 19 of the zombie apocalypse in the heart of Louisville, Kentucky. We've disposed of about 1,201 infected in our local area alone, and yes, I am still locked out of my own house. To remedy that, we'll be searching for the carpentry book we need in this school's library. Let's hope that these students were learning advanced carpentry before they were zombified. If you're new here, you might be wondering why we need a carpentry book to get back into our fifth story apartment. Uh, give me just a second so I can clear out this area. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. On the day of the outbreak, Bo here blocked the stairs leading up to the top floor of the apartment building we are staying in. I destroyed them in god mode for the sake of the story. And it kept us very safe from the hundreds of infected lurking the building, but... Carefully placed ropes were the only way in and out, which were unfortunately destroyed when I had to evacuate the other day. So, in order to get back up there, we need to build a staircase, but I'm currently too dumb to know how to do that, and the book will make me not dumb faster. In other words, I just need carpentry level 6 in order to be able to build a stupid staircase. That's it. So, let's search the school real quick and see what we can find. I haven't been here before, so I don't know where the library is. So, good luck to me, I guess. Ooh, a soda pop. I'll just drink that right now. Chips. A cover of your book. Oh, that's volume one. Never mind. Lecture City, volume one. Yoink. It's like taking candy from zombie children. Ooh, a friendship bracelet. It's a green one. I'll take that. There we go. I'm friends with the desk now. Alright, let's check back here where the books are going to be. Uh, why aren't any of these kids learning carpentry? Uh, volume 4, that's not what I need, but I will take it. We'll need it in the future. Oh, <gasps> cat ear headphones. That's a double yoink. Give me that. <laughs> these are mine now. You have to pry them for my cold, dead fingers. Constant worship? Ugh. Oh, where did you come from? You weren't there. I was literally just over here. Where did you come from? I don't like that. Creepy. Sports shorts. I was just thinking about how I needed a new outfit for the weather. Showing off Bo's zombie stomping man thighs. Ooh, a yellow glow stick. I've never actually used this in game before. Let's try it out. Let's go ahead and crack it open. That is a lot of light. That's cool. Four sports tank tops. Ooh, I like, uh... I like this one. Hmm. We'll have to take off some of these layers, though. The Spiffle shirt is in the way. It's okay, the weather is getting a little too warm for multiple layers, so let's put the Spiffle shirt away for now. Go ahead and retire it. It's perfect. A delightful outfit. It's not very well defended, but we won't overheat. Just don't get hit. I hear a whole bunch coming in, so let's go ahead and take care of them real fast. Just don't get hit. Another bucket, that's very useful. A hockey stick. I've never used this before. Let's let's try it. There's gotta be a light switch around here somewhere, right? It's so dark in here. Oh, nice. Ma'am, do you know where the light switch is at? I'll take that as a no. No cigarettes. Didn't any of these teachers smoke around here? Where the heck is the library in this place? I can't find it. Oh, that's quite a few coming in after me. I'm just gonna ignore them for a minute. I'm just gonna go out here and loot some lockers and that is future me's problem. All right, upstairs it is then, I guess. Did not find a library down here. And we are on a quest for knowledge. My glow stick is still working. 
But where is the light switch up here? I thought I heard a lot of commotion over here. And I think that's the light switch. Let's get rid of this guy. Too dumb to know how to exit a building. And also a little bugged out. That was weird. I threw off my groove. There we go. Turn that back on. A hundred times less scary now. Alright, I'm finding a lot of classrooms, but not a library. But the good thing is, once we do find the book, we can dismantle all these desks. There's like, at least probably over a hundred desks in this school easily. And who is squeegeeing a window? Alright. I don't think this school has a library. I have searched almost every single room. And it's very strange because I've not seen a school in Zomboid that doesn't actually have a library, at least personally. And that blockhead over there is stuck on the railing. Also, I'm panicking a lot. Why am I panicking so much? Bo's really desensitized. So it turns out there was a whole blah, boatload of zombies in the stairwell. That's why Bo was panicking. Alright, so if we can't find the book here, I know there is a shopping district not too far to the south. There's also a gardening store down there before that I mentioned. Oh, hi. You actually scared me a little bit. Where's the light switch? Okay. Let's check in this one over here. Nope. Alright, so it's official. I have searched every single room. There is no library in the school, so now I have to go back and search all the cupboards manually. Master Carpentry. Hey, there's a sandwich in this bag. Is it good? Nope. Rotten. Not a scrap of loot in the teacher's lounge, unfortunately. Wait, what did you have? Oh, just stupid jewelry. I don't need trinkets. I need knowledge. No knowledge. Close that door. I'll take those keys. Alright, this is the last room to search. I think I saw someone. Oh. I hate being able to hear them open a door. They must be hiding right outside the door. Let's search here first and then I'll deal with them. Nope. Nope. That is unfortunate. There's not the Carpentry 3 book that we need in this school. I hear someone growling out here. Ah, I knew it! Right outside the door. And you brought a friend. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Ugly little crumb bum. Oh my god! did not see her. That scared the crap out of me. I hate this game. Alright, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. We finished searching the school. We did not find Advanced Carpentry or Carpentry 3. Which is really unfortunate because now... Well, I suppose we can go look in the apartment complex. Why is there so much howling right now? Some might consider that a bad omen. Alright, well let's start down here on this end of the building. What's behind door number one? I hear an alarm going off. Let's turn on the light so I don't get chomped in the dark. Close the door. Look at this, we found some snacks in the kitchen. I can't believe the power's still on. It's kind of wild. It's July 28th, so it's what, 19 days? I'm gonna keep this eggplant and milk for later as a snack. Let's just drop those in my inventory. And the ground beef. Another baseball bat. I don't need a weapon right now. I kind of have an abundance of them, but I will definitely keep it for later. And by keep it for later, I mean drop it on the floor. A double barrel shotgun. And a box of shotgun shells. Let's not make more problems for myself right now. I'm definitely hearing some activity in the building. 
There are no carpentry books on this floor. Nope. Alright. Up to the next floor. Running so no one can grab me. Jesus. Can you not? It is very rude to jump scare someone in the hallway. Let me give you an etiquette lesson. Nope. Nope. Wait, what was that? A noisemaker? I'll just leave it here for now. Alright, next. Nope. A metal sheet, five nails, and a shovel. That's creepy. Next. A bucket hat. Two toolboxes and a crowbar. Duct tape, good to know. What a weird table in that kitchen. This zombie I killed a while back has a key and some maggots. So far it's looking like a bust, so on to the next floor. Ooh, a rotting corpse. There's the empty apartment. Just about time to go back to our cruddy little house. I think I heard someone open a door. Or a TV. Nope, no books in the corpse pile. Alright, well I have searched this place top to bottom. I was thinking, hoping maybe I ha probably had a Carpentry 3 book. I thought I picked one up in there at some point. But it might be in the apartment upstairs. Which, that's not gonna help me there. So for now, I'm just gonna go home for the day. I'm gonna walk because I don't want to be careful with that exhaustion. And tomorrow, we'll head to the bookstore nearby. I'm trying to think of a plan here. It's in the shopping district to the south-ish. Make sure no one's following me. Lock the door this time. I did not lock it yesterday. And it should be... We should be able to visit the garden store on the way there. Why do I have a knife stored in my oven? I am a strange loot goblin sometimes. Anyway, we're gonna cook up that meat, sort my inventory, and go to bed. Looks like we have some jets passing over soon. Hopefully that doesn't end in disaster. But, disaster or not, I have work to do. And so today our first stop will be the gardening store south of the school. Doesn't look like anyone's out there, we can unlock the door. Too bad I don't have to key the place to lock the door. We're gonna drop our pots and pans here on the driveway. Hopefully catch some rain today, maybe. I know I have a lot of food and water sources here in the city, but I just want to be as frugal as possible. You never know when things are gonna turn south in Zomboid, especially modded Project Zomboid. So it's always best to plan and prepare for the worst case scenario. Which I don't always do, so do as I say, not as I do. Alright, now we'll take a walk down Murder Row and we'll meet up at the gardening store. Alright, I hear someone causing a ruckus. But where are they? Are they in the shed? No, they're trying to break this water rail. No, I need that! I didn't even know that was here, but I need that. Why was he going after just that barrel? And you don't even have good loot. Very rude. Oh, but I do see some vegetables here. Look at this. And they're very rotten, but still. Alright, let's close that and we'll take a look in the shed. Sheds usually have pretty good loot. Oh my goodness. Four sledgehammers? I've never seen four sledgehammers spawn in one container. That is very strange. Pretty decent stuff here. It's not stuff that I can carry right now, but I could definitely come back for it later. And I know there's 
the store nearby. Let's take a look in there. I want to see some zombie friends. Hey, there's another water barrel up there right against that fence line. It's good to know. I can come back for those with the truck. Alright, I see a few down here. A couple in the parking lot. A couple in the street. Nothing we can't handle. And luckily we are out at night time, so they are slow shamblers. Let's take care of these guys real fast. See if we can do some sneak attacks. Oh yeah. Bo is on his way to becoming a lean, mean, zombie killing machine. Any loot? No. A couple more see me. Okay, I thought it was way more than just two. From the sounds of it. We'll use the axe so we can speed things along. Alright. That should be good. Now let's head inside once I take your camera. Dismantle that. Alright, let's hope we got the good stuff. Yeah, this is the mother load for gardening supplies. Look at all these seed packets. Garden fork, that's gonna be very useful. What about these boxes? Gravel bags, I don't need those. Alright, I am looking for big watering cans. Oh, Im imitation flamingo! And a mouse trap. I'll take the flamingo right now. That could be stilts. Alright, nothing in those counters. Lots more seed packets, tools. David the gnome. All my friends are here. I get to bring them home now. And look at these water barrels. That's five more inside. Two outside. They'll probably explode if I pick them up, but that's a problem for later. We'll try to increase our carpentry level before we pick up those barrels. Alright, now let's go check the back. I haven't seen any large watering cans in here. More sandbags. Two more water barrels, wow. That's nine now? That's just another door. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure these last two doors are just bathrooms, but I will double check. Yep, that's one bathroom with a dead rodent. Another one? Garbage bag. We'll be back for those later. Alright, I'm going to go double check those crops outside real fast and see if there's any that are good and I'm going to rip up the bad ones and I will see you guys when I'm done here. Unless something interesting happens. Which I don't. It's pretty quiet over here. Alright, so I did manage to get a few cabbages. And I think there were some radishes that weren't quite ready yet and everything else was either rotten so I ripped it up, or I left it there to continue to grow. And so we're, we are almost to the bookstore. I think it's just past this intersection. And luckily this area is actually really clear. Because I think we pulled most of them over to the apartment building. There are a few stragglers, but it's not too bad. Especially at night when they're slower. It does sound like there's quite a few in that barber shop, perhaps. So I do need to keep my eyes peeled on my back. It's 11.30 at night, so the night is still pretty young. I'm not too concerned about that. But we do have a jet pass coming in, and I don't know when that's going to be, so... Things could go south relatively quickly in this game. I see a member of the barbershop quartet, though. And there, there are actually quite a few in there. And if I could not whiff it with my swings, that would be fantastic. She looks like she was about to refill her 
parking meter. Joke's on her. She has no car. Oh, somebody made it out of there. Let me take care of this problem so they don't follow me over to the bookstore. Wow, they just demolished that door. About four or five. Most of them are stuck on the windows. She's making her way out here. Nobody's behind me. Now they are... They were both stuck on the windows like dummies. But luckily I have a fire axe and I can quickly dispatch them. There's one more. I've only seen three of the four quartet members, but I'm just gonna leave him there. He can do his thing. I got stuff to do. Alright, one embarrassing distraction that I will cut out later, and we are back on track to the bookstore. There are a few midnight shoppers out and about. We'll take care of them. As we approach these buildings, they are going to activate, and any zombies inside will... I'm sure they will make themselves known to me. So depending on how busy it is, I want to grab the book- Ah, my god! They're sneaking up behind me from the trees. You guys want to go? The back of the line is over there. I'm here for the midnight release of Carpentry 3. And nobody's gonna spoil it for me. Not even the guy that hosts the Carpentry show. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Whatever, it's not important. What matters is I get Carpentry 3. That's all I want in life. Until I get it, then I will probably want something else. Right, I'm pretty sure I think I see the bookstore. Right over there. Let's just get rid of these guys so they don't distract me while I shop. Those mannequins spooked me. Alright, let's get what I need and get out. And for the love of god, no alarm. Okay, good. We're good. No alarm. Let's just shut the door, even though those three windows are shattered. Here's some activity. I don't like that. Carpentry 2... Come on, give me Carpentry 3. It's one. I'm not seeing it. Two. Oh, volume 3. There it is. Okay, I got it. Now, I know I said I would leave, but... What about farming? What do I need there? Looks like it's going to be the same. Volume 3 farming. And foraging volume 2 would be nice as well. Now I know I can pause to search these shelves, and I do do that sometimes, but I live for danger. And now I'm hearing doors open. Dance magazine, zombie hit list, doors keep opening. Uh, I mean, why not? Okay, I hear someone growling very close by. And that door is opening. Okay, that door is not connected to into here. I don't know why I panicked and looked at the front door. Okay, I hear someone on a window. Squeegeeing it. Squeegee too hard. Alright, where are they? I'm getting real paranoid. There they are. Really blended in with that mannequin. That was creepy. Alright, that's enough of that. I want to get my books and I want to get out of here. Come on, foraging volume two. A medical magazine. I'll take that, I guess. Still hearing growling and more doors opening. This is getting very dangerous. But I've already come so far, so I'm, I'm getting my books. Volume 2. 
trapping, tailoring, mechanics, first aid. A bucket. And some bleach. And a fire extinguisher. I will take that as well. Hearing a lot of movement. Alright, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm going home. Alright, made it back in one piece. Lock the door, close the curtains, and I can't believe I actually pulled it off. Just gonna drop everything on the floor like a maniac. Oh yeah, David and Stilts. Let's go ahead and place them here in the living room. There we go, we got David. And then we can play stilts. Uh, stilts doesn't want to show up correctly for some reason right now, so it's just gonna be her stick. All right, let's pick up these this stupid amount of cabbages and throw them in the freezer so they'll last longer. And I'm gonna go put this bleach in the bathroom. I don't want to accidentally drink it. I want to save it to clean up the blood from my house when I get back in there. Right, okay. Carpentry, let's go ahead and read that right away. And time skip. Alright, I think it's time we need to take a break and get a snack. Oh no. I think the power just went out. Honestly, I'm shocked it stayed as on as long as it did. It's July 29th. That's, what, 20 days? And the water's been out even longer than that. I've got like two dozen frozen cabbages that I need to eat. And that jet pass is still coming in. This bonus we'll get for the experience is really going to be worth it. I'm glad we took the time to get the book. Grinding two levels of carpentry won't be total agony now. And there it is. Carpentry volume three, done. Got some time to kill. I'm gonna read another book and switch to a day schedule. But next episode we'll be leveling up carpentry to level six and then we'll be getting back into our apartment. So thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Genuine Toad and I'm happy to have you here.